Hey guys, um, I'm out at Stinson Beach, California, uh, kind of during the holidays here. I'm out here with my daughter, Lila. There, we plan to have a lot more people, but Lila ended up getting uh, exposed to someone with COVID. Uh, so we're hanging out here for a few days to make sure that she's not going to get COVID and I am not either. Um, but regardless, so I think we're through it. I don't think she's got it, but it's still, you know, I can't go into the studio. I can't do anything except hang out here, which is pretty great. Uh, I have some art supplies and stuff. And, um, but it got me to thinking about, you know, how you stay motivated, especially when you're away from your studio. And this happens right now, this time of year, we're going on trips, we're taking time off, we're taking a break at the end of the year. And I just thought I'd talk about a few ways that I stay motivated, even though I can't make art. And I really can't. I can't even go in <laughs> right now. Uh, it's just crazy. And I plan to. Uh, so here's what I do. I look at the past work that I've made, the most recent stuff. And I did a, a big body of work for this Julie Nestor exhibition in Park City. And one of the pieces um, uh, is is interesting to me, is, is just sort of standing out. It's called Sangria, and it's just got some cool things about it. Uh, the color and just the way I made it. And I don't, I'm not sure entirely, but there's there's something in there for me <laughs> that is that lets me know about the possible change that could occur in 2022, because that's what this is about. It's like, how can you change how can you change, you know, like, where are you going? What, what, that's the whole game with this. And when there's that possibility, when there's room for things to get better or things to change or, or to make art that's more like you, I think that's really energizing. And it gets you all excited about the process of, of doing this, this idea that, you know, you can go into the studio and, you have total freedom to make whatever you want. But if you don't kind of know what you want and you're not sure, and the last thing, you know, it's been a while, it's so, so easy for that to turn into a week or two and then a month. And then it's like this, this sort of, it just gets worse and worse and you don't, you go in less and less and less and less. So I'm really into this idea of, keeping energized when you're not at your studio. Now I have some materials here, some art supplies and stuff, and I'm making, you know, uh, holiday card stuff and just painting. I've got a sketchbook. Luckily I brought all that stuff out here. Um, because I can't go back to the studio. There's people in the building. And I'm just trying to just stay away from everyone, uh, for another day. <laughs> uh, so, so that helps, you know, sometimes it's nice to just do small things off to the side of what you normally do, you know, work in a sketchbook, work on paper. Um, and, and that's, uh, that's another thing that I, I tend to do a lot. As soon as I'm finished with a large project, I start working small on those 12 by 12s or just in a sketchbook, writing more. It's sort of like, you know, it's like packing for a trip. That's what I feel like I'm involved in now, packing for the next journey, the next part. What's it going to look like in the first part of 2022? What's my, where is my, where am I going to take my work, you know? So anyway, let me know in the comments how you stay motivated and excited and passionate because it's the whole key to this thing. And um, I'm just curious, you know, all the different ways that we do this, uh, so go ahead and share that if you've got some cool ways of doing that. We have a really cool podcast that relates to this subject coming out on Wednesday. It's with artist, painter, Gary Rudell. He's he's this amazing uh, landscape, figurative, abstract painter. It's hard to imagine all those things, but the way he blends his backgrounds and his figures. But, you know, so his work's incredible, but Gary is such a character. He's so... He has such good energy and it's so, he has so much of it and he's so positive and he's always been like this. That's what's kind of amazing to me, you know? So we talk a lot about uh, these, this idea of, of staying motivated, you know, and, and how he does it. And uh, one of the things he does, which is really cool is like, I never think of doing this, but like if he gets expired, if he goes to like a, Edward Hopper show or a Matisse show, 
he will paint a Matisse painting, full on copy it, you know, in his style, which I, I almost feel like I would never do that, but he does that just to get like new energy and fired up. And, and I, I feel like that's cheating or I don't want to be copying anybody. And, but he's like, I'm not showing anyone. This is just for me, you know, and it's just fun. So that's a pretty cool idea. I thought anyway, he's got a bunch of ideas and his work's really cool. And I got to go to his studio and, uh, go in person. Um, so that was pretty amazing. So I, I did the podcast from his actual studio. Anyway, you guys, um, thanks so much for being here. And I hope all your holidays have been going great and um, look forward to talking to you real soon. Okay, thanks. Hey, everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.